Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this falling text animation in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado, let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92, nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now come to this add options and select text here. So we got a default text. So in order to enter our text first we need to erase that. So press tab and backspace to delete that text and now we can enter our text. So here I will be using this Balu Prime text only which is my channel name. So now press tab once again to exit that one. Now come to this object data properties alignment let it be at the center. So let me rotate this one so RX90. And now come to this geometry options and let me increase this extrusion value. So I think 0.8. Let me increase this point. Okay, point 0.1 is enough. And if you want to add bevel, we can add bevel depth here. So simply add depth bevel from here. And resolution, we can increase the resolution. And if you want to change the font, come to this font options, expand this and click on this folder icon here. So you'll get a new window open showing the fonts which are installed in our pc so you can select whichever font you like so i will select this font and simply click on this open font so the text is updated with that font nice so currently the text is not a mesh so we need to convert this text into mesh first so because if we press tab on the keyboard still we can erase our text so we need to convert the text into mesh so for that select that text come to this object convert to and click on this mesh so if i press tab on the keyboard now we can see we are in edit mode so let me move on to this wireframe so if you observe clearly the mesh is not proper here so we need to correct that one so come to this modifier properties add modifier add remesh select this smooth and uncheck this remove disconnected option and now increase the octree depth value so if I keep on increasing this, you can see we got our text here. So I think this is enough. So let me apply this one. Nice. So now let me move on to this solid viewport. Okay. So we got this blocky kind of look. So right click shade smooth. Okay. Nice. So now let me select the text, move it here. Let me place this here. And now let's add a ground plane. So go to this add mesh, select a plane. Now press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling here. So now we need to add rigid body physics property to both the objects. So first select the text, come to this physics property, add rigid body. And if I play this, you can see the text is falling down. So now select the plane, again add rigid body, in type change it to passive. So if I play this, the text is not falling down, but it is not behaving correctly because the origin point is not at its center. So we need to make the origin point to the center of object for the physics to work properly so select the font come to this object set origin origin to geometry so if i play this now you can see the difference okay so if you want to increase the bounciness select the plane scroll down surface response here we can increase the bounce value and let me select the text and let me increase the bounce value for this also so now it is a bit okay nice so let me go to this options. Let me enable this cavity and shadow. Okay. So now let me add a cube. So go to this add cube, press S and reduce the scaling here a bit. And let me place this above. And let me bring it here. And let me add rigid body for that also and type, let it be passive. So if I play this now, okay. So now we need to break this text into individual elements. So here, everything is in single mesh so i want this b separate a separate l u every alphabet separately so in order to do that first let me hide out this plane and the cube also okay so now press tab on the keyboard so now we can press a on the keyboard to select the text here so everything is selected or else you can simply press b and select everything okay so now press p and select this by loose parts. So now we got everything separately. So 
this is a this is l this is u so now again press tab to exit this edit mode and let me enable this plane once again and also cube so if i play this now you can see this is not behaving correctly because again we need to set the origin points to its center so let me select the text complete here select the text completely go to this object set origin origin to geometry so now each and every alphabet has its origin point at its center so here you can see l has it u has it okay so if i play this now now it is behaving properly okay so play with the values of this bounciness and this friction so if i increase the bounciness we'll get some different kind of animations so play with the different values to get different look here so in this way we can create this falling text animation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care Bye.